All right, uh, this was sent into the channel by uh, Infrared. Uh, they build thermal cameras. The uh, model that I'm reviewing today is the Xtherm 2, the T2S Plus. Um, and uh, this is for the, uh, the iPhone. They have one for Android. Um, there's a little pamphlet here. So you need to go download it. So this is a small camera that attaches to a smartphone and uh, you need to download the, uh, the application, which is here. Uh, so the application is called Xtherm. So you need to download that before you can use your camera. Let's see what it comes with. It comes with a little uh, cleaning cloth and a little case. So let's take a look at that. Uh, don't point at the sun. Don't point at really hot objects. Um, and uh, here is the camera. Uh, it's a little uh, chunky for some of the cameras that I've reviewed before. Now, the cool thing about this camera, the, the, the thing that I'm excited about, is this one has a focus. This is the first uh, thermal camera that I have, um, that actually, actually, actually that I've ever seen, that has a variable focus. Some have macro lenses, but this one actually has a variable focus, which is going to be really, really nice. So I do, I do like this. Um, it's yellow. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's put it on the, um, let's put it on the whoop, system here. Now, once I already have the uh, application loaded, it's right here, Xtherm. But when you, uh, when you attach the camera, oh, I can't attach the camera. All right. So I have a case on my, on my iPhone and it's pretty thin. Okay. And, but it won't let the camera mate. Okay. So that's a big problem. Let me, sh oops, let me show you the last camera that they made. And I was very, very impressed with that. And I gave it high scores because it seems like they had figured that out. Uh, so this is a product of theirs. Um, and if you noticed, it has a step here. And when you put it in the phone, it's perfect. It, it's able to reach in and, uh, and everything is good to go. All right. So uh, this one has a little plastic step on it as well, but it's too short. It needs to be about twice, about three times this thickness. If they'd only done that, I would be really happy with this. But now it's got this step and I can't, I can't use it without taking the case off, which I'm not going to do. So what I've done, um, so other, other cameras have this problem as well. Um, now you can go buy yourself one of these, and this is a lightning connector to a lightning c c connector uh, extender, and it's teeny tiny, but now I'm going to have to use it with this camera, all right? And I really don't like that, because now it's sticking way out here, and it might get busted off and stuff, so... Yeah, and I don't want to remove my case. So it says you want to you want to use Xterm? Yeah, Xterm. Yes, it does boot really really fast. It boots fat the fastest as any of any thermal camera that I that I've got. So I really do enjoy it booting fast. Uh, so that is nice. It's got all the normal uh, thermal stuff, right? Except uh, it has focus. So I can I can let's see something. There we go. How about that? I can focus on it, right? I can get close. Oops, you can't see that. There we go. Um, I can get close to something and then I can focus on it. There we go. I'm focusing on it. So that is just super cool. I love this focusing. Um, now, the other product that they had, uh, this one, it came with a, a macro lens. So there's a little magnetic, oop, a little magnetic macro lens, but it's fixed focus. So I find that this one focuses super, super close, and sometimes you don't want to be that close. Um, so this one is this one is very nice. You can pick whatever distance you want to be at and focus it yourself. Um, so other than this uh, having to use this extender, I just uh, I wish they would have fixed that. Um, so it has normal palette. You can do black and white. I mean, it's all the the if you've been around a the thermal camera, it's all the same stuff. You can pick whatever palette that you want. 
you can take a photo, uh, you can take a video, um, and I'll show you those things in a little bit. Um, let's see here, what else should I talk about? Um, oops. Oh, I didn't log in right, oh, here we go. Uh, it's got alarm, shutters, logos. Logo watermark, let's turn that off. Uh, time watermark, uh, mm, I don't like that either. I don't like watermarks. Uh, positioning, all right, and I can go back. Uh, let's do this one. Oh, we can measure things, we can get diff different thermal things, uh, all the different settings for cameras. It's pretty inclusive for the, uh, what's going on here. Let's see, does it have, yeah, it has rotating. So if you hold the camera sideways, uh, you can rotate it. Yeah, it rotates, rotates nicely. Um, to flip it over again yeah so that's that's good so if you want to hold it sideways that's fine um let's see and did it automatically flip yet yeah, automatically flipped when i turned it over uh let's see what does this do oh picture in picture oh so it gives you uh uh regular and thermal That's pretty cool. Is it using my camera to do that? Must be. Yeah, it's using my camera. Uh, high definition. Okay. Not quite sure what that's all about. Contrast, brightness, yeah, all the normal stuff. All right, let's, uh, now, one thing that I found out about this, which I'm super excited about, is when you go into video mode, okay, and you start recording, um, it actually has access to the microphone. So it's actually able to create a, a video with actual audio on top of it. So that is super, super nice. That is really, really good. I like that. All right, let's go around and uh, we'll look at a few things. All right, so I am playing around with a um, an amplifier here, and I'm going to be taking a look at the heating of some components here. So let me turn this off, and we'll go here to um, thermal mode, and I can reach over and I can blur it, and then I can make it super, super sharp, or go the other way. So there we go. So if I, uh, let's see, where's my, where's my ground? So if I turn it on, we can see things heat up. Right there in the center of the screen, you can see there's a couple of components that are getting really, really hot now. Uh, that one there, and that one there, and they're cooling back off again. So you can see that I can go, uh, I can go really close here. Let me see, let me, Focus it. Oh, geez, it's kind of hard to keep it from shaking, especially if you're an old person like me. Anyway, yeah, I so see we can get super, super close. Let's look at. Oh, geez, this is so hard to hold. Okay, let's do that one. I'll turn it on. Watch this guy heat up. There he's heating up. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, so we can go out and go, oh, it's very, very blurry. That's okay. I can fix it. So, yeah, there we go. All right, yeah, I really like this thing. All right, uh... So here's my workbench, here's my camera. <laughs> uh, there's the workbench and I'll just pan over, that's my curve tracer. And go up to the rafters here, you can see that the roof is very, very hot because uh, it's hot today. 
Not as hot as yesterday, but 24C, yeah, it's pretty toasty. Anyway, yeah, I like it. It has a pretty good video. It doesn't stutter too much, so I do like that. Uh, here's a, let's see, here's the workbench. Let me focus on the workbench here. Okay, and I'm going to put my hand on the workbench and then take my hand away, and there is my fingerprints and heat. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can focus on those. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, uh, also sent was a uh, stand for, uh, it says for PCB electronic inspection. So I guess you can mount this uh, and operate it remotely. So that's kind of interesting. So let's uh, let's go ahead and hook it up and uh, see how the see how the stand works. All right. So it comes with this little stand, and uh, you can uh, move it up and down, move this in and out. Uh, nice and nice big knobs. Really good quality. Has kind of a rubberized uh, mat here to put things on, um, and then it has a a little box uh, that you can put things in and what you do is you put a little camera in there so your camera drops in there and then you uh, close the lid on it and now you have uh, your camera in there now I couldn't find it but um, there is no extender cable you would need a uh, extension cable to go to your phone um, and Let's see, do I have one? I actually have one. I purchased this a long time ago, so this is mine. But it didn't come with it. It really needs to come with it. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, this is gonna do you no good at all. So let me, uh, let me hook it up to my phone here and see if it works. I mean, these are cheap, but it really should come with it. I mean, that's ridiculous. All right, so there, uh, there you see yeah, things are underneath. Uh, can we? Look at some, maybe something more interesting. So maybe this is what we're looking at. And uh, then, uh, oops. Uh, my application, I'm holding two things together. So you'd need to focus it. Yeah, there we go. So uh, so now, uh, now you would have a, uh, uh, system that is all hands. Up. Remember how I was shaking? Uh, this gets rid of that problem. But uh, yeah, you didn't need to buy a cord, which is ridiculous. Anyway, uh, yeah, there you go. And if you don't like the stand, maybe you wanted to mount it to something else. It comes, it comes with a clamp, and it comes with another clamp and a, a, a ball head and stuff. So it comes with a bunch of stuff for uh, hooking up in different situations. So that's nice. Uh, it just needs to come with a cord. Okay. So anyway, there you go. That is my review of the, uh, what is it? The Xtherm 2 T2S Plus uh, thermal camera. Yeah, I really like it. It's nice.